today's news. Yes, news on the hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Find your zen today if you are headed to the airport because Thanksgiving crowds are growing. Here at Los Angeles International Airport, the crowd's not too large today. We are traveling to New Jersey. Two days before Thanksgiving, a lot lighter than the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm surprised at how few people are here. It's crazy for a holiday weekend. And why Tuesday rather than Wednesday? To avoid the, the, the lines and the crowds. Officials here expect the numbers to be larger tomorrow and then of course the return this weekend. Dr. Anthony Fauci is giving one last warning to get it vaccinated as millions meet with family and friends at Thanksgiving. It was his final appearance in the White House briefing room, capping a career in public health that began when he helped Americans learn how to stop the spread of HIV. Dr. Anthony Fauci said he learned from COVID that health officials should be more forthcoming up front, that their guidance on a virus might shift. We've got to probably do a better job of when we talk to the public, explain that this is a dynamic situation that could change. Fauci said it pains him that medical advice has become politicized. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. We're following breaking news in Washington. The Supreme Court now clearing the way for the release of former President Trump's tax returns to a congressional committee. That decision comes after a three-year legal fight. President Biden called to thank a former Army vet who took down a shooter at a gay nightclub in Colorado Springs over the weekend. Rich Fierro says it was a reflex. I saw him and I went and got him. And when I pulled him down, I, 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 I told him I was in him. I, I want to kill you guys. Five people died that day, but officials say Fierro's actions saved more. A man involved in a deadly crash near Boston yesterday has posted bail. Bradley Rain has been arraigned inside a Massachusetts court one day after he allegedly drove through an Apple store, leading to the death of one person and injuries to 19 others. He pleaded not guilty. The judge ruling this. I am going to order that he is not to operate a motor vehicle while this case is pending. The 53-year-old is back in court in one month. Matt Piper, CBS News. In Ukraine, there are new concerns now about the safety of a nuclear facility. CBS's Chris Livesay is in Zaporizhia. Do you think there's any risk of a nuclear meltdown? Russian forces are capable of anything. They behave like monkeys playing with hand grenades. They're reckless and stupid. As for why? Sabotage. Moscow has already tried and failed to steal the plant by linking it to the Russian grid. And rolling blackouts could continue there through March. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.